Good evening, and welcome to St. Helena Church. We're so happy to see you all here for this festive gala event we're going to have. My name is Nora Jean Flanagan Glenn. I am the chairperson of the 100th Anniversary Committee. And on behalf of the entire parish and the committee, Monsignor Trin, Sister Sophie, Father Matthew, I welcome you all here. This is one of our events for the 100th anniversary celebration. It began, as you know, with our opening mass in September, September 14th, 2023. And we are having monthly events throughout our 100th year to celebrate all that we have been throughout these 100 years and all that we are and all that we hope to be in the future. So this trilingual concert was one of the really wonderful events that we did for our 90th anniversary. And I'm told that Jen and Nolene and all of the choirs and choir directors have outdone themselves. It will be even better than the 90th. Um, I welcome you all to come back for our monthly events that will continue throughout 2024 until our closing mass on September 15th, 2024, right here at 11 a.m. And then it will be followed it from 2 to 6 by a 100th anniversary dinner at St. Helena in Bluebell. So just coming right up in the near future, in January, we're going to have the celebration for consecrated life. So any sister or brother who entered from St. Helena Parish or whoever was stationed here will be invited back and we will, will celebrate them and have a little reception in their honor. In February, at the 4.30 Mass on February 10th, we will have a renewal of and blessing of married couples who have been married not just at St. Helena's, but married in the church. So we invite you to come back for that as well. And we'll have things, as I say, every month. Check our website. In May, we'll have a big Mary Mother of All Nations celebration, which is, will be really something to t participate in. So welcome all. And here is our fearless leader, Monsignor Trin, who will lead us in prayer. Welcome back to St. Helena. Many of you haven't seen before new faces. We're here tonight. Um, I think St. Augustine is the one who said to sing is to pray twice. Not only that we use our voice singing, praising God on this third Sunday of Advent, Rejoice Sunday, but also think about to be up here, they had to practice singing many, many, many times. So I think more than twice that the, the sing is to pray twice. They, they say pray many times. So uh, thank you for being here tonight, coming here tonight. And especially the choirs, um, beautiful choirs. This is uh, one of the uh, hallmark of our Paris community. Uh, you can see today, uh, tonight. And uh, uh, as we, as uh, Norjean say, this is part of our 100th anniversary uh, celebration. And so it's very appropriate for us to say the prayer together. So please uh, stand up and uh, we, can, uh, we can say the prayer together that the Father Math uh, composed this beautiful prayer. God and Father of us all, through Jesus, your Son and our Savior, you have gathered the faithful to St. Helena, Paris for 100 years for many lands and united us in one faith. Rooted in him and nourished with the Holy Eucharist, protect, guide, and sustain the clergy, religious, and laity of St. Helena, Paris, that we may more effectively live and share the gospel in our local community, now and in the future. With the help of the Holy Spirit, may our Paris family become an ever more welcome home for men and women of ages, races, and cultures to love God with all our hearts, minds, and soul, and strength, and our neighbor as ourselves. Through Christ our Lord, amen. St. Helena, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, break a leg. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. My name is Nolene Ermson, and I am a lifelong parishioner of St. Helena Parish and the assistant choir director for the English choir. 
Um, I wanted to introduce our first song this evening. As you may know, today we celebrated the third Sunday of Advent, which is Gaudete Sunday. Um, we thought it would be appropriate to put our little concert, our Christmas concert tonight, in an envelope of within the Advent season by starting with the theme of Gaudete. While this hymn is a Christmas song in nature, um, we thought it would really bookend our concert with the joy that we hope to provide to you. Gaudete means rejoice. And this hymn is in our universal language of Latin. And we hope that it brings you the joy today. The translation is rejoice. Christ is born of the Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good evening, everyone. I am Ngọc Trần. I would like to introduce to you Disney Children's Choir. And also we have Sister Bạch Dương and Sister Hồng Hiền. Tonight, we will sing Hark the Hero and to Sing and Joy to the World in Vietnamese. Thank you.
During the season of Advent, each of the four weeks has a passage, a spiritual preparation for the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go back to the second Sunday of Advent as we were called to prepare the way for the Lord. Let's join with our choir to cry out once again, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Through our first song, Dian Gai Chom Samak, or The Voice in the Desert, composer Father Xuan Tao.
cho chúa đi chờ về với chúa đi hỡi muôn dân hãy thật tâm thông hối cho chúa đi sửa đường cho chúa đi trở về với chúa đi hỡi môn dân hãy thật tâm thống hối để xứng đáng lãnh nhận ơn cứu độ We are now celebrating the third Sunday of Advent. The angels sent us the message of joy. Our trilingual choir has sung, Gaudete, Gaudete, Christus et Natus, Ex Maria Virgine, Gaudete, Rejoice, Rejoice, Christ is born of the Virgin Mary, Rejoice. Let's send this good news with great joy to all people through our potpourri of songs. Chúa đã gần bên, or our Lord is near. Composed, French, Nassau, melody of the 13th century, followed by Gloria with an unknown composer. xin chúa đến thông chi thế chân cứu vớt muôn người đang sống lầm than xin tha mọi tội con cái đã phạm và xin dâng lối đến
let us step forward to the next week. It's Christmas. We will celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ once again. Please join us, sing joyfully our last song, No End Ve Day, which means No End Has Arrived, composed by Vu Din An. Our next trilingual piece is a version of Leonard Cohen's Alleluia, which I'm sure many, if not all of you, will recognize at this point. It is a version that is designed to celebrate the Christmas season. And our version, we have the verses translated into our three languages. Um, so we hope you enjoy this.
có chiều anh sang dần đưa ba vua từ phương đông xa vượt qua bao nhiêu con khó gian nan về bê lê nhiều hương mông dương vàng dâng lên chúa lòng vui hân hoan ba vua cùng kính quỳ bái tôn vinh danh chúa This next hymn is called A Child of the Poor. It is an arrangement put together by Noleen and Jen. It struck me to the heart last week when I encountered a homeless woman down by the food bank. I looked into her face and listened to her story. I got the song. I got it. I hope you get it too.
Our next piece will be a gospel version of Away in a Manger.
The fall of Adam and Eve, the transgression of our first parents in the Garden of Eden, brought sin into the world, causing their descendant to be born into original sin and sufferings. But God gave his promise to send a savior for humanity. Humankind await, await the coming of the Messiah in the fullness of time, that he may come redeem the children of men from the fall. In the peaceful and still of the night, the angels came, proclaiming the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. A star will appear, shining in the sky. When Jesus Christ is born, the Son of God will come into our world and into our hearts and reflect on the gift of salvation of humankind. The Vietnamese rendition of the Song of Love and Salvation Tình ca ngày cứu độ, composed by Tường Ân, will be performed by the Vietnamese choir Yeo Ân Tình Yêu with the musical director Mr. Vũ Tuấn. Thank you. 
What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthems sweet, where shepherds watch are keeping? This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. The Vietnamese rendition of what child is this Lời Ru Yang Sin by Father Sun Dung will be performed once again by the choir Yo An Tin Yu. Oh. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Ray Velez. I'm the director of the Spanish Choir here at St. Helena, as well as my co-director right here, uh, Judy Ransom Cruz. Cruz Ransom, I'm sorry. Uh, welcome to our Christmas concert. St. Helena Spanish Choir is thrilled to spread the joy of the season through music. Enjoy the celebration filled with harmony and Christmas spirit. Join us for a tropical infusion that we bring different types of rhythms, and we hope that you just enjoy. Bienvenidos a nuestro concierto navideño. El coro de nuestra iglesia, Santa Elena, se complace en compartir la alegría de esta temporada. Through, 
por, por la música, perdona. <risa> Disfruten de esta celebración llena de armonía y espíritu navideño. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Before we begin our last song this evening, there are a few things we wanted to share with you. Beyond the gift of music this evening, you'll see at the end of your pews these luminaries. We invite you to take these home with you tonight. In addition to our gift of music, we offer you the gift of light through this holiday season. So please accept this gift from us. If you look at the back of your program, there is a QR code for those so technologically inclined where you can see the remainder of the 100th anniversary events that we will be hosting for the remainder of our centennial year. One of the things that we are and have been doing for our 100th anniversary is we have been having somewhat of a drive to have our, this beautiful upper church be accessible to all. We are raising money and have done a fantastic job so far to raise money for, to, to put an elevator in this church. If you have the means and feel so inclined, there is a way to donate on the website, which is what the QR code will take you to. There are also envelopes for the elevator donation that can be found at the entrances of these doors in the front. Thank you in advance for your consideration. Thank you for coming tonight as we begin our final song with additional joy, Emmanuel.
Wow. That's all I can say. Thank you so much. Hard work or no work at all? Hard work. What a way to celebrate Rejoicing Sunday. And what a way to get all of our choirs, Spanish, Vietnamese, English, all of our choirs to celebrate our 100th anniversary. We began it back in September, and we're into December. And I said to Jen, when she went to the back for a minute, <laughs> and the first sang, song the Trilingual Choir sang brought tears to my eyes. I wish we could do it more. How many want to do more trilingual choirs? <laughs> Yay! Praise God. And the children's choir. You are the future of our church. This is your church. You're going to be here long before I am. I'll be gone before you get to be grown up. I hope not, but who knows. Before we conclude our evening tonight, I just want to invite all of you to come down to the lower church for some fellowship. We have lots of treats down there, lots of good food, thanks to all of you. And I would like to, on behalf of Father Trin and Father Peter, who is here tonight, and Father Matthew, and Father Gardy and Father Dominic, we'd like to wish all of you and all of our sisters, we want to wish you a blessed and holy rest of Advent. And it's hard to believe that next Sunday is Christmas Eve. Poor fourth Sunday of Advent gets cheated this year. So, with that in mind, I'm going to invite Father Matthew to come up and to offer a prayer of blessing for our fellowship that we will have downstairs. And to get to the lower church, you could, I'm not sure if the uh, doors in the front are open yet, but if you go down the back steps, the refreshments are in the new enlarged gathering space that thanks to Monsignor, and the St. Joseph, the worker group, they completed the work of moving five, four or five pews from the gathering space to enlarge the gathering space. And if we didn't have the St. Joseph, the worker group, we would not have been able to get a lot of things done. And as Nolene mentioned, Monsignor Trin has for years talked about an elevator from the lower church to the upper church. And all of us, well not all of you, but the majority of us are getting older. Steps are not always easy. So an elevator would be welcomed greatly. And it, it's amazing that in the bulletin for this third Sunday of Advent, Rejoicing Sunday, we have reached 75% of our goal for the elevator. The elevator is a go. And I think once the elevator gets put in, if Monsignor doesn't mind, I want to be the first one to ride in it. <laughs> so I thank Monsignor, all of you, Father Matthew, the St. Joseph the Worker Group, all the hard work of the choir, and all of you for coming out tonight and celebrating with us. Father Matthew, see if you can top that. Thank you, sister. Thank you to all our choirs. Thank to all of you for being here. Let's close with, uh, uh, as we began in prayer, I ask you to please stand. Lord be with you. 
Good and gracious God, we thank you for the many blessings you have given to our parish, especially in this evening of song and fellowship. We pray, Lord, that these blessings may continue downstairs as we gather to celebrate the good things that you have given us. And we pray in a special way, Lord, for all those who go without that which we share in right now. And we pray, bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Helena, pray for us. God bless you all. Have a beautiful evening. All right. Thank you again.